Hey guys, it's Chloe. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. Hi guys, it's Chloe here from Dramatic Branches. Um, I got requested to bring my primary school stuff up. I am in grade 8 or year 8 or form 2 or I don't, know, I don't know what year 8 would be in America. Even freshman year, like year 7 or something. Anyway, that's not the point of the story. So I went to my mum's house. So I was my dad's house. As, as, as I'm not going to know I'm at my dad's house as she's in the So. Yeah, say Arthur, I was still leave me alone. Alright. I live at my dad's house, as you said. So, I went to my mum's and all my other stuff's all the way over there. I can't be bothered getting it. So, I'm only going to be doing my writing folio. Oh, got it. My writing folio. My reading task book. And what's this? And all my reading contracts. I'm going to quickly skim through it with you. I'm going to try and make it as um, quick as possible. And I'm going to read some of the stuff to you and show you how I have it organised. That was all I did in year six, my last year of primary school. I think it's mid school for Americans or something. So well, I was. You turned 12 in grade six over here. Or you can turn 11 or 30, and that's really the only age is so yeah. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to start off with my reading. You know. so, I'm going to do my reading and writing in this one. Do the rest in the other one. Okay. First of all, we would put. We would put all our writing story things that we didn't know what they were, or that will work well, really what we we're working on in the first one. And it's reading. We would put all that like, there. Yeah, um, you know how you get like a quiz quest or something? That. So um, I look over there, I'm trying to think. It's just like a wall. Right, yeah, so this is see how it has. That there's questions and you're meant to answer them and the answers I mean that you're meant to highlight the answers and then oops, and then put it on that. And as you can see we have loose paper things so then the papers don't get damaged. Or you could stick them in here. Whoops, someone's graffiti my book. Graffiti is writing on, okay? Um, and we'll have, you know, my little sticky note thing, same week one. So the first week of the term, term one. Second week. And we didn't do any work in the first two weeks, because we'll, that's just playing games in grade six, the first two weeks. And then week three, we'll have our contract. actually move that here. We had contract, so we had um, we got this reading contract. This is in term three. Okay, well we got reading contracts, and at the first start of the week, so it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, contract task. And then the teacher would give us one every week, and we would have different things every week. Like, say, now we have contract tasks, so we need to do what, what she supplied us with down here. And I'll get it out, it'll be easier. And we have a contract task, thing where it says contract task, which these are the tasks we have to complete. Alright? So I wasn't there for Monday, so I really should have crossed that with Tuesday. So ICT. We had to use the computer. So there was like games or something we got to play or 
reading things or something, because this is reading. Um, Wednesday, teacher group, which is when you sit in a group, because you have a group of people, and you sit down in the group with the teacher, and you read the book and do catch-ups, and you normally had um, tasks, which is also followed up by the contractor, which you might have to do how to draw a cat. Yeah, you might have had to do discussion directories when you direct the group. When you write something like that, but I'll show you that later. Um, yeah, and then it has here the ICT task. You do what day you completed it, and then teacher checked it, and then follow up. So the day she didn't do, and then the teacher group is what you done with the teacher. It has here self assessment. So you assess yourself with how good do you think you went. Like say, um, zero will be finishing required work and during lunch time. So say when number one, number two is not good enough, didn't get enough work completed, or didn't set up to a high enough standard. Um, number three, good work task but didn't quite complete all set of work. Number four, good, very good session completed all work but could have tried harder. Five, excellent session completed all work and worked as possible. Good as possible. So I normally just stayed around three. Someone gave me four and a half. And then like self-assessment, I gave myself a three. The peer assessment gave me four and a half. Teacher assessment gave me four. Which really yeah, is okay, I guess. But peer assessment is friends. But they had to be in your group. Then same with Thursday, you had to follow up. What's followed up is when you didn't complete your work on number one, Monday, you had to do on Thursday. And if you didn't finish on Thursday, you had to do on Friday. I guess I'm reading it through the back like that, like you can't see it. Anyway, so that's that. It's week three. That's the same with week four. They're all the same, but the teacher adds comments. Um, and then week five, they changed them a little bit. And then we had to write comments for ourselves, as well as the teacher. And we didn't see the difference. Yeah, this. We had people in our group which I'm not allowed to say the name of the school I went to. And then at the back was a double sided one. We would have, I didn't do that, I didn't show you this at the other one. We would collect all the work you had to do for the week at the start of the week when you got your reading contract. You would go and collect, say, how to draw a cat and all that and you would put it in the pocket behind for the week. And then the six. And then um, week eight, week seven, so week eight, sorry, I didn't do week seven. It was away. Um, she changed it around even more. I might go under 20 minutes. Yeah, you know, she just changed it so I don't know, I'm going to be reading all these two. Um so basically the point of this thing is so you have what you're working on, what I was working on, then you have week one, then you get your reading contract, you put that in there and then all your work behind it and you first collect it. Week two, same goes. Week three, which is that those ones are going to come in then. The teacher might have my old work. Week four, reading contract, work behind it. You normally put the book you were reading that week in there. So we will start with the same book. The same. And then the reading contract 
actually. It's in here. Anyway, I'm going to get it out. And then, they change. Teacher selected activities. So you've got that. And then, we had to, as I said, discussion director. We had to make these ourselves as good before them up. Sometimes I started off on the computer and then copied these and then I went to paper. We only kept these to do two copies. One for the teacher and one for yourself to read. So the part of this is we also had an activity which I printed off this and then just drew that up. This is all what I've done in you can just stuck it all in your book but I wanted to be neat so I got one of these books, one of these sorry things, the discussion director, the title was Girl Underground and then he put like a little box in there explaining what discussion director is which this week and discussion director my job is to write down discussion questions as well as control my group, control the noises, make sure that they have completed their task. If they haven't, which you need to go around on, say, if I had it on a Wednesday, I'd have to go around on a Tuesday and make sure they've completed the contract things I, I set them. The discussion director sets them. Task, sorry, I have to play my mind for a second. And the questions are done. Write the questions. I chose to do those few ones because I had to put, because you also had to make an order. So you done the question. You put what page and then you put what paragraph. Then you do question, page, paragraph. Then you do questions to ask groups about, say what they think about the book so far and if they don't like it, you change it. Then you do an order, which was, I know, a very weird name. I've never seen that name before. Yanni, Brittany, Maddie, Jack, Amy and Bianca. And then you made a picture to go with it. So that is just my reading one. I've decided. Oh, now I've got my book. Um, I'm not going to do my writing one in this one. Never graffiti on your book. Never let your best friend do it. Because I can guarantee primary school best friends don't last forever. We my best friend broke up this year, last year. Friendship. So there's the question you basically had to do before I decided to get organised. And there's a quiz quest, which I'll explain how to do that in another video. Thank you. Remember to subscribe. This is just my channel now. My sister might come and go through and it, but she hasn't been in a video so far, so it's my channel. Yay. Okay, so remember to subscribe, like, comment. Comment below what you would be more interested in with me doing my E.G. explaining how to do quiz quest, explaining how to write narrative. If there's a lot of people learning, going to new schools, so they're not sure what's in their school bag, what to take, etc. Like, etc. So yeah, remember comment below, subscribe, inbox if you need to.